philanthropy. I worked in development for several major nonprofit organizations, soliciting gifts from both corporations and individuals. It was by chance last November that I came across an op-ed in the New York Times that focused on the issue of private philanthropy and public parks. The subject is of national and international interest. Governments are universally strapped for funds and therefore are increasingly turning to the private sector to support public spaces. To enlighten us on this phenomenon, we have as our panelists tonight, from my right to my left, Mark Levine, who is a New York City Council member and chair of the New York City Council's Parks and Recreation Committee. Deborah Martin. Deborah Martin is with us. She's the executive director of the New York Restoration Project. Maureen Doyle is also joining us. She's the executive vice president of the Hudson River Park Trust. Lauren George is the associate director of Common Cause New York. And to my extreme left, Catherine Swan, I guess that's in more ways than one, <laughs> is the writer for the Huffington Post and Washington Square Park blog. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming all of our guests. Thank you. Okay, 